Hello and welcome back to Charlie Rose Knows. Today we're going to be talking about the minted box. This is actually my first minted box. I subscribed in June. I realized we're approaching the end of June, but I thought I'd give myself the month to try out some of the products in the box and give you some feedback on what I felt gave me the most value for money. So, as I've already opened up the box, it is not showing in its current in the condition that it arrived to me in. So I did take a picture of that for you and I will put that picture at the end of this video just so you can see the presentation. It is not something to be missed. Okay, so I've already gotten into it. The first thing you get is one of these and this just gives you a bit of information about the company, the products inside, how much they retail for and where you can buy them. So, first thing we have is the Lavender Essential Oil Infused Silk Lined Face Mask. I loved, loved, loved this mask. I'm a sucker for lavender. Anything with lavender on it, I'm just in love with. But what I was most shocked about is that I'm getting a silk eye mask in a beauty box. There are a lot of brands out there that will profess to be luxury and high-end and they will put, um, you know, high-end or drugstore brands in the box. Um, to me, I just consider that as fillers. Um, and if you're using the term luxury, I expect it to be luxury across the board. Minted is the only company that I can say hand on heart, I feel does that. So when I open the box and I see a, a silk eye mask, and I'm like, okay, so that's 25 pounds right there. The box itself is worth 187 pounds. Let me just double check, yeah, 187 pounds. Um, but I've only paid 70 for it. Now you may think that's a bit steep, but all the brands that I'm bringing, I'm going to be showing you today, are Skin Laundry, are actually sold in the Space NK Apothecary. And that is a very high end, I mean, to even be put on the shelves there, you have to have some kind of status in the luxury brand industry, or shall I say, luxury brand sector, whatever, we'll move past that. So, okay, the other thing that I was really excited to get was the Malin and Goetz Eucalyptus All Natural Deodorant. Now, I realise that a lot more people are getting more conscious of, I think especially women due to things like breast cancer as well, um, you've got to be very careful about what you put on your skin, what you put near, you know, such a delicate area as well because it does go into your bloodstream and this is a, one of those brands that they're just very conscientious about the ingredients that they use packed full of highly effective antibacterial and actually antiperspirant uh, <laughs> anti essential oils and ingredients. So this retails at 12 pounds. This is a travel size. I think it's 28 grams. This will go a long way, very, very long way. Let me just show you what the product looks like. One of the problems I have, um, or one of the things I face, being a woman of colour is that a lot of deodorants will show up just as white as anything on me and if you're having to put on quite a bit of deodorant if it's hot or you're, you're going to be doing strenuous exercise you know you've got like literally sonic beam coming out from your underarms it is not the one guys this goes on completely clear love that <laughs> it smells divine eucalyptus is um, along with lavender one of my favorite essential oils. Love that. We'll definitely use it. I haven't had a chance to yet because I'm currently using another natural deodorant. This is what the eye mask came in. A product that I was very excited about but haven't had a chance to try just yet is the Mindful Traveler Jewel Facial Cleansing and Moisturizer Set. This is fantastic. I love the concept behind this. Just the weight of the product alone and the packaging is a sight to behold. It comes in a metal barrel and you've got gold pumps either end. 
I've checked over the ingredients guys and this company is not pulling their punches you don't have any nasty glycol in here you don't have any alcohol in here quality ingredients quality ingredients that's by a company called OM Skincare mindful traveller guys how much does this retail for? this product retails for bear with me £48 I can believe it it feels like a quality product I have yet to try the wash out I'm on prescription stuff at the minute because I'm on Roaccutane so it looks like a very gentle cleanser though so this is something that I actually would put on my skin with it being kind of um, difficult at times it can be dry it can be oily it can be combination so it's just finding a product that's going to work for me at this time this is something that I feel would work for me in all of those circumstances so once I run out of my current face wash, I will be giving that one a go. And I'm going away shortly, so it will be coming with me on my trip. <sighs> the brand I was most in love with, Oscar. I've actually spent quite a sizable amount on this brand over the years. So when I saw that Oscar was coming in this box, and I'd already had how much value, I mean, we're looking at already we're close to a hundred pounds with the products that i've just i mean we're, we're pretty close we're, we're almost there with just the products that i've shown you already so then to see this and it's a full-size product i was really really impressed shocked and impressed city life eye zone balm anti-pollution eye and lip zone balm this beauty is packed full of antioxidants You've got very potent ingredients. You've got vitamin A, you've got vitamin E, you've got minerals in there, you've got magnesium, silica, lipids as well. So your omega oils to hydrate and protect the skin. Beautiful. So comes in a really handy tube. A little bit goes a long way. And I really, really mean that. I personally would not use this product again under my eyes if I was going out. However, if I'm at home and I'm feeling quite dehydrated, I would definitely just pat it around the orbital eye area, um, slightly just around the lips where you see any kind of lines forming. So I've put the product there on my hand. And I'm just gonna rub it a bit, just to give you an idea of how it blends. So you see what I mean about it being quite a rich product. I mean, there's quite a bit of shine there and that's probably the that's the only reason why I wouldn't wear it out. I just, I can't imagine that I'd be able to put makeup over that product. However, as a lip moisturizer, it is fantastic. Now, as somebody who's on Roaccutane for acne and I have, my lips have an unslakeable thirst. This product seemed to do it for me. And I've been through countless products. I've tried um the Terry, terry's um balm de rose i've tried um what's the dior one I, i've tried all the high-end brands to try and hydrate my lips and stop them from cracking this worked for me so this is a daily staple for me now and it's definitely a product i will be buying again and that product retails at 55 pounds so we are way over 100. I mean, I'm, I'm not fantastic on the, on the arithmetic, but I will say we've racked up quite, quite a lot of pounds here and saved quite a lot of pounds too. So, a product that I have actually used religiously upon discovery is actually the one that I, I cannot pronounce. It's an instant plumping mask by <laughs> Omorov Vishka. Budapest. That's what it says, guys. If you can pronounce it for me or tell me how it's supposed to be pronounced, I would be so grateful. Okay, so this product, I believe, retails at 55. Let me double check that. My apologies, it retails at 33 pounds. The full size tub retails at 110 pounds. Now this again 
very, very rich products. You're using it as a mask. You can actually sleep in it as a mask. And I did on every occasion when I've used it, I have slept in it. It goes into the skin. So even if you apply it quite thickly, I would say if you're going to sleep in it, really, really do rub it into the skin. When you wake up, no matter how dehydrated you've been, your skin is hydrated. There's no dehydration lines, there's no dryness. I sometimes peel because of the racotane and that, like when my face is rubbing on the pillow, that will dry out my skin and no matter what I put on it the night before, even if it claims to have hyaluronic acid in and, and plumping uh, lipids, I just don't see the benefit by the time the morning comes. This product did it for me. I put it on, I used, um, some nights I put a lot, some nights I put a little and I learned that less is actually more with this product. You don't need to slather it on. Once it's in the skin, it's in the skin and it makes it work to plump up your actual natural body. Your own body will actually work in synergy with the ingredients to plump up your skin. Can I testify to the instant plumping effect? No, because I never want to take this thing off. You know, I wake up in the morning and it comes off after being on my face for six to eight hours. That's a lie. I probably sleep about three hours. But still, I can't testify to the plumping, the instant plumping effect. I will say, though, the fact that it hydrates my skin and I struggle with dryness the way that I do to the point where I peel and I wasn't peeling after using this was outstanding. So I highly recommend this product. And lastly, no travel bag would be complete without skincare wipes. Okay, so we've got purifying cleansing cloths by a company called Skin Laundry. It says California, so I take it they're based in California. And I actually use these wipes in a variety of scenarios. So I use them with a full face of makeup. I use them with what I would consider very light makeup, so just BB cream and translucent powder. And I've used it with no makeup whatsoever. Now, with a full face of makeup, as you see me now, so that's foundation, primer, foundation, um, powder, eyeliner, lipstick, the lot, it took me three wipes to get my face completely clean. Now, when I use the MAC um, makeup remover wipes, I can get through about five of those, five. And they are designed for removing quite heavy, heavy industrial, what I, what I would describe as industrial makeup. And somehow this product seemed to knock MAC right out the park. I couldn't believe it. So three wipes is really, really good for me. Three down from five is fantastic. With light makeup, one. And then obviously with nothing, one. So very, very highly effective. It's, the wipes smell gorgeous. They smell like, literally like fresh laundry. That might be something to do with the name, skin laundry. So it smells like fresh laundry. I would say, if we want to get really descriptive about it, freshly cut flowers. That's what it smells like to me anyway. Beautiful, full size product here. How many wipes do you get? You get 30 pre-moistened wipes. You've got your beautiful actives in here. Salicylic acid, I'm actually surprised to see that in there because that's something that normally my doctor would advise me against using because of the fact that I'm on prescription for, uh, on a prescription for uh, acne. So, and that can be quite drying and quite intense on the skin. I never had any issues using these wipes. So I got the deep cleansing effect, but none of the dryness, none of the peeling. It didn't exacerbate any of my condition, didn't make anything worse. I can't complain. It's got witch hazel in it, chamomile, which is very soothing, and cucumber extract. Very, very nice product. Minted, I've got to say, thank you for bringing this to the market because all the other brands, uh, you know, in the UK, UK-based brands, I must say there's a few in America I've got my eye on that haven't yet hit the international market. But 
Minted has really took care of us in the UK by bringing a genuinely high-end brand to us way over the value of the subscription cost packed full of high-end luxury products with high-end luxury ingredients not cut down with these you know these cheap ingredients that you get sometimes in these high street brands where they know they can get away with it because hey you get what you pay for but you know I just feel like I really did get value for money with this box i was so impressed with the presentation again there will be pictures at the end of this video for you to see what it looked like when it came to me i did get a um i did write a personalized message for myself and that was literally just to show you guys what that would look like and it came to me handwritten which i thought was a wonderful touch i'm just gonna have a look in the box see if i can find it You'll see in the pictures. It's not here. <laughs> so, yeah, I've taken that note. I'll probably put it somewhere as a, as a keepsake or something because it was just so cute how they, they wrote it all out by hand. And I just think that's a nice touch again. Um, so, yeah, I was really impressed with this and I definitely will maintain my subscription. It's the only uh, UK-based beauty subscription that I have. I do have one other subscription which you guys are aware of um, so that's in my other video about the slut box um, but that's not just beauty obviously that's to do with lifestyle as well and you get lots of other fun bits and bats in there like sunglasses accessories um, not just beauties so this is mainly focused on high-end luxury beauty if that's the fix you're looking for but you don't want to break the bank for it minted are your people thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do click subscribe i would love to get more subs <laughs> i would love to get i could probably cut that out but i won't do just because it's just who i am you'll see me make mistakes many times but if there's anything that I haven't covered that you would love to see me unbox, cover, review, etc., give me your suggestions and I'll jump right on it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.